Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. Today we're going to work on a fiddle tune called Flop Eared Mule. It's in the key of D, um, and the B part's in the key of A, so it's kind of got two keys going for it. Um, I'll play it through a couple times for you. Again, listen to the um, parts, try to sing along if you can. Um, it's good for getting it in your ears, which makes it easier to get into your fingers. Um, so again, I'll play it through a couple times. Uh, I'll point out the A and B parts. It's an A A B B tune, so the A part repeats and the B part repeats, and then it whole form repeats again and again. Um, the longer, the better, really. Um, so here we go, flop eared mule. So there's the tune. Um, listen to that until you're really kind of comfortable with it and it sounds familiar. And then uh, let's start breaking it down. So I'll play the A part one more time and break it into chunks. Here is the A part. So, A part, key of D, it starts on the second fret of the E string, it's an F sharp. Um, and so here we go, first phrase. So that's second fret, second fret, fifth fret on the A string, and then O to Let's add a couple more notes to that. It's going to sound like this. So from that O to O of the first part, we now have 5, 4, open on the D string. 5, 4, open. 5, 4, open one more time. Five, four, Great. So now we have the second part. Two o oh, two four five. Let's start with that. Two o oh, two four five. And again, here we go. Two o oh, two four five. And.
One more time. Two, two, four, five. Now the next adding to that we have right back down the scale to the open D. So we have two O oh, two four five four two O oh, and again here we go. Two O oh, two four five four two O oh, and one more time. Two O oh, two four five four two O oh, and one more time. Two O oh, two four five four two O. Oh. So from there. Melody. So we have two o oh, two four five four two o oh, two four five open, which is um, just right back up the scale. So two o oh, two four five four two o oh, two four five open. Two o oh, two four five four two o oh, two four five open. One more time. Two o oh, two. So those two parts together, um, we have starting on the F sharp, the second fret of the E string. Let's put those two parts we have so far together. Two, two, five, five. That's the first half of the A part, but the second half of the A part is 99% the same notes. I'll play the second half and sort of point out the differences. So it's all the same. Still the same. Here we go. O, 4, O, at the end. That's the only difference between the first and the second halves of the A part. Um, o, 4, Now let's add that from here, the two o oh, two four five four two o oh, four o oh, again. Two o oh, two four five four two o oh, four o oh. two more times. Two o oh, two four five four two o oh, four o oh. one more time. Two o oh, two four five four two o oh, four o. Oh. So you now have all the notes for the A part. Um, we'll play the A part through a couple times um, and try to, if you lose track of where I am, try to wait until you hear something familiar come around and jump back on. Um, it's good practice for um, playing out in the real world with some other folks, but um, if need be, you can always start this right back over to where this part of the A part starts. Um, so here we go. Um, the A part, I'm going to play it through a bunch of times. Starts on the second fret of the E string, F sharp. One, two, three, four.
Great. All right. Now, the B part. Um, I can assure you the B part will take you less time than the A part. There's a lot of sort of repeated ideas and a lot of open strings to play. So, here is, I'll play the, uh, the B part once so you can get it in your ears, and then I will break it down. Here we go. It starts in the open E string. Alright, so, starts with the open E, and just goes back and forth between the open E and the open A. We have E, A, E, A, let's do that again, E, A, E, A, one more time, E, A, E, A, one more time, E, A, E, A. And then we have this little line, E, F, E. sharp E D C sharp A or O two O five four O O two O five four O O two O five four O So so far we have Great. Now, the next little chunk is exactly like the B part of the, uh, sorry, the second, the next bit is exactly like the second half of the A part, except up a string. So instead of going two, oh, two, four, five, four, two, oh, two, four, nine, nine, on the D string, we're going to start on the A string. So it starts in the second fret of the A string. Two, So, so far the, e, the B part sounds like this. We've got the first half of the B part. Let's do that again. So then the second half of the B part starts the same way. Still the same. Oh, four, oh. It's just like the second ending of the A part, except on the A string instead of the D string. So, it, two, oh, two, four, five, four, two, oh, four, oh. Again, two, oh. So the whole B part sounds like this. I'll play it through twice. One, two, three, four. Oops, sorry. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four.
Great. So that's all the parts. Um, that's all there is to it. I'll play it through A, A, B, B, and then um, a couple times, and then you're good to go and play it on your own. Um, again, if you fall off, try to reconnect back up once you hear something familiar come around, um, and you can always start over. But again, practicing jumping back on the train whenever you can. It's good practice for playing out and play with playing with other people. Um, so here we go, starting on the F sharp of the E string, the A part. One, two, three, four. That's all there is. Thanks for watching. I'll play it one last time through, up to speed, kind of how I would play it if I was playing at an old time jam or a bluegrass jam or something. Um, and again, thanks for watching. There's more lessons at mandolessons.com. Um, hope you enjoyed this, and let me know if you have any questions. Uh, leave a comment below. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four.